do it. Let's look at history for a minute. Think about this. 2,400 years ago, Ahasuerus sat down with Haman to draft the final solution. We know this. It says that they got very happy. He offered them silver. He said, keep your silver. They, he sealed it with the ring. They disseminated it throughout the community. And the Jews of Shushan were bewildered. And the Lushan that they use is that they are going to... All Jews, young and old, are to be exterminated. 2,400 years later and change, there was something called the Wannasee Conference. Does anyone know what that is? Oh, yeah. That's when Heinrich Himmler, Adolf Eichmann, that's correct, and Heinrich Heydrich, amongst other scumbags, drafted the final solution. Now, what does that mean to us? Well, nothing except they did the exact same thing that Achashverosh and Haman did. It says that they got drunk together, they drafted the final solution, they disseminated it in several languages, and within a day or two, all the Jews of Europe were bewildered. But it gets even better than that. Achashverosh says to Esther, the 500 um, men of Shushet have been slain, excuse me, and the 10 sons have been hanged. What is your wish? And Esther responds, tomorrow, let the 10 sons of Haman be hanged. Does anyone find anything strange with, with what I just said? She just, he just said, I just hang them. What do you want me to do? I'd like you to hang them. Rashi picks up on it. It's so obvious. Why did he say that? He quotes the Tadkuma that says, there's a tomorrow now, there's a tomorrow in the future. The Ramban says if you look in the Torah and you see any letters that are a different size or unusual, it means something. Well, if you look at this, the hanging of the ten sons, remember there's three small letters? It's weird. And that equals Tuf Shin Zion, which is 5707. What's 5707? Does anyone know what that means? 1946, exactly. It's a, it's a Hebrew year. What happened in 1946? Let's take a look. Gehring, ten... Ten are hanged in Nuremberg prison for Nazi war crimes. That's the same ten that were just listed over here. And in fact, it gets a little more complicated because actually, one of the Nazis, Goering, killed himself. He wanted to get back at us by saying, I'm going to kill myself before you get me. So do you know what happened? Haman had a daughter. And Haman's daughter killed herself. But Gehring was a cross-dresser. Oh, this is real. But it gets even more interesting. No. It gets even more interesting. I told you, Jules Stryker, Jules Stryker, Jules Stryker, Jules Stryker who, who was the minister of propaganda, he stood and said, when they were about to hang him, Purim Fest, 1946, it now goes before God. Why would he do that? He's telling us the, the connection is here. Wait a minute. What's October 16th, 1946? Does anyone know what that is? Does anyone know what that is? Come on, it's Hoshana Rava. What's Hoshana Rava? Yom Kippur Katan. You, you know, don't you see that the Chazan wears a kitzel when he does Musaf? I know Hoshana Rava. Why? Because that's the day when all verdicts are sealed. Don't you see what happened here? It was predicted. And I got one better. What is the name of the tree? Eight. Wood. Where they were hanged. What is the name of the executioner? 2,400 years later. John C. Woods. Is this getting crazy? <laughs> Things are getting out of control. For the believer, there are no questions. We understand. We know. For the non-believer, there are no answers. So my hope and prayer is that each and every one of you guys will learn from what I said. You can see the hand of God if you only look for him. Thank you very much. Right.